He's, he's got a lot of land. No, no, I didn't. So Tom Waits, the guy that was here before, he fishes this fly a lot in Wisconsin, does very well. well I was just going to say, it's a nice looking scud. It's basically yeah, it's, a, it's basically a scud. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this yarn flat. I don't want to build up too much bulk. That's what everybody tells me. No, they don't cure. They don't cure on the surface. Oh, they do I'll demonstrate it for you after I let them out. Are you videoing it or just photoing it? <laughs> Alright, so let me think about what I gotta do here now. I want to capture this. And that's it. Is what it is. It's, a, it's an attractor pattern. This is not a real hand. And then you didn't catch that part, did you? Well, no. I actually, oh, I, I was. Uh, you tied it off, right? And then, I, as I remember, Sawyer seals the the back with head cement. Let's see. They got a little fiber hanging off there. I want to get rid of. Got a shiny surface. I'm going to show you. There's no knot, as I remember, you know, at no, the back no end knot. of the fly. There's no knot. Just the wire. It's just wire and head cement. Well, tuffle fly is a different. It cures at a different uh, way. And this is super. Yeah, it, it cures with blue light. I don't know. Did I? S if I touch it, I'm going to be glued to it. There we go. I think I may have goofed up the wire a little bit at the rear end. But it looks better on your side of the hook than it does on my side of the hook. That's what counts. That's the, it's the photo side. Which side is the shark going to look at? It's actually a little small compared to the... It's, it's really a scud imitation is what it is.